Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? Welcome back to another TSW4 video. Um, today we're in the class 395 uh, SEB. Um, six cars long, 102, uh, 102, 132 yards in length. And we're operating one Lima 36 cents pancreas international, two cent pancreas international for some reason. Um, anyway, it doesn't really make sense, but anyway. Drive to Southern Eastern Service from St Pancras International to Ashford International, so I'm not too sure if there was a mistake with that, um, but we shall soon find out. Now, um, while I'm doing the introductions, I just want to point out it's been a while since I've driven this train, so this is going to be quite interesting. Um, but anyway, um, without further ado, let's set up the train. So I need to put the master key on, reverse it into forward. <coughs> Clear some error messages and then open up the doors just so that we can load up our passengers um, and then what I'm going to do quickly is just find this panel here so I can do that um, I've kind of did that in the wrong order I think because let's face it um, that should have been the other way around um, but yeah it looks to be all on I don't think there's anything else I need to switch on US Pentagon selection normal Yeah, all looks good. Um, so I'm going to go back in the cockpit chair. Clear the errors. And we've got one minute to wait anyway, so we're not too far behind where we need to be. So we do have to stop at Stratford International, and then Ebbsfleet, and then on to Ashford International Platform 6. So there's two stops, three if you count the destination, but there's two intermediaries. So, yep, it's going to be an interesting ride. Um, as I say, it's going to be even more interesting in the fact that I haven't actually um, had much experience in this train. Um, so yeah, oh, but I'm going to close the doors because 30 second rule and all that. I think this is R1, yep. This is R1. In the javelin. On to minimum break. And we should be good to go now. I'm not too sure if this is the one where you have to change from overhead to third rail, but we'll soon find that out. Um, so, yeah, let's start making our way to Stratford International. I do like these trains, they are quite quick to, um, <coughs> excuse me, accelerate on. A lot of noise coming around these bends. So of course, the speed restrictions are a bit weird because it's I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's supposed to be um, in kilometres an hour, um, but obviously we are in miles an hour, then, then it goes into kilometres an hour, um, so it's, it's, yeah, I find it quite annoying. Anyway, we're going to approach the first of many tunnels, or the big one, I think. I'm not too, too sure how many tunnels are actually on this map. I forget. It has been a while.
We've got 124 miles an hour now. Turn the cab light on. Speed restriction is going to be 160 it's very soon. yards, 500 yards, 1,000 yards, half a mile. We're doing alright, we are doing alright with 50 miles an hour. Uh, Going to be a little bit late, that's not a problem. Coast it in to Stratford. DRA, open up the right doors. So the next one is Ebsfleet. About just under a 10 minute, well, but yeah, a 10 minute drive. Get ready to close the doors. array off. I'm just going to put minimum brake on. Let's get rolling up to 100 kilometres. Go back into the tunnels. Go 
take the speed up a little bit because we are allowed now to go up to the maximum speed of 225 kilometers AWS. But I think that was actually the vigilance or the uh, making sure I'm alive. Stopping on London Underground, I think. kilometers an hour and our max is 225 so that's pretty cool we're doing good end of the tunnel is coming soon as well and we're 10 miles out and we got seven minutes six minutes to get there providing nothing goes wrong we're good trying to rack, rack my brains because I used to do this route a lot when I first had the game and I'm pretty sure Ashwood you don't need to lower the pants lower the pants <laughs> lower the pantograph let's keep it clean okay so we're going downhill so I'm just going <clears> to <throat> knock the speed up a little bit because I don't want to that's better to go maximum anyway so I think we're okay for now. I 
5.7 miles away. We've still got all greens, we're doing really good. Let's increase the speed a little bit because we are going up a hill. So I am hoping it is going to advise us that we need when we need to slow down. Um, that's one good thing I like about this route. It does give it, it, it does give you that those cues. Whereas East Coast Mainline, not so much. flashing which means we do need to think about slowing down let's do what it's asking and of course we would have to slow down on a huge gradient Take it down to a hundred or thereabouts. Yeah, that's a good call. Yeah, so I think when you go right and up the hill there, up the ramp, is when you have to go to the third line at Ebsfleet. I believe if you stay down here, you can... Um, I don't think you need to put the pantographs down. I think you stay on them. I think. Someone correct me if I'm wrong on that one. It's a little bit of an overshoot. I can live with that. Can live with that. That's uh, completely okay for me.
Okay, so let's go on to Ashford. Quick screenshot. So at 62 miles an hour or 100k. Eighty one or hundred and thirty K. Yeah, two two five. So <clears throat> as I said, I don't think I I didn't think on the Ashford one you had to lower the pantograph, which is really good. I hate doing that. So we've got 31 miles to Ashford. Now I'm seeing that there's 186 miles an hour coming up, but I don't think that's right. I might be wrong. still stuck 140 so I'm not too sure why there's a 186 mile an hour sign there, don't know, the game might have glitched, who knows right, who knows. Beautiful day for a train ride. struggling to get above 110 but that's probably the uh, the incline is a bit heavy <clears throat> nice try catching this out there so we've got 14 minutes and 30 seconds ish uh, to get to Ashford Six miles to go.
slow it down a little bit because we are going down a very steep hill. makes a change for us or me or whatever kind of interesting who's actually watching this at this point in time I realised I made a cup of coffee and I hadn't actually drunk, 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 drunk it yet. Cold but nice. Twenty-one miles to go. We're getting there. We are. We are getting there, which is uh, which is really cool. So. under halfway like very much just under halfway I think you got 10 minutes to do 70 miles at 130 miles an hour so 120 miles an hour is a mile every 30 seconds so seven so about so it's about seven minutes if we carry on at this speed Obviously we've got to take into account the fact we need to slow it, slow it down and enter the train station and everything else and hopefully we won't be early. Although I'm going to guess we would be because of the speed we're doing, so yeah.
quite tricky actually because it's trying to maintain the speed when you've got the inclines and declines the way that it does. It's quite difficult to um, maintain that, lo that level. desolate on this route. <clears throat> I just think I was just thinking about it, it's just literally track. <laughs> I'd be worried if it wasn't track, but yeah there's not really anything there. I mean I suppose that's that's a positive from a train driver distraction thing, but like it's just like going up the M1, it's just yeah. Fields. Um yeah. Vigilance is going off all the time. I mean, I'm not really doing anything when you think about it. Just, yeah. <laughs> Seven miles out, so we're going to start seeing speed restrictions quite soon. So we'll start working again. Oh, well, working now, but you can, yeah, earn our money, let's say. Those of you wondering what that little tune was, it was my keys, I've got them in my back pocket and I sat on them and it set off the key finder on the um, on the key tag for my key, key rings on the phone, yeah, <laughs> so kind of cool. So we are going to, it's it's flashing up now which means that we're going to have to start slowing down or think about slowing down from 225, so I'm just going to br bring it down to um, 200 which was a good estimate really um, so I'm just going to bring it down to about over 180 ish 100 and actually no about 160 I think um, we're three miles out we've got four minutes to get there so at the moment we're 
we're on track. Probably bring it down to about 160. Ah, yeah, see. Uh -huh. What is, I keep the minimum brake on and I'll just roll it down because it's going to, it, it, it will slow us down even more. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of where I want to be. We are going uphill, so I'll put the power back on a little bit just, just to keep the momentum go, just to keep the momentum up a little bit. But as you can see, 160 would be about 100 miles an hour, so we are just short of that. So I know that I've got to slow down to 60 anyway, so if I just keep the brake on, until we get to a hundred. So I know I'm good because I'm at 42 miles an hour. I know I can stop it in that time. There we go, and we have successfully arrived at Ashwood International. Uh, if I just do that, and then open up the doors. Not too sure why we're loading passengers up, but we are. And there we have it, guys. Another one done. <clears throat> so, guys, as always, thank you for watching. And if you have enjoyed it, please hit that like, subscribe. Even if you didn't enjoy it, please also hit that like and subscribe. It just tells me that you do. Um, and uh yeah um thank you once again guys and i will see you all in another episode thanks for watching stay safe bye bye